Linus Tech Tips coverage of E3 2014 is brought to you by HyperX Fury Series High Performance SSDs, the Corsair Vengeance K70 and K90 RGB mechanical keyboards, and NCIX.com, our trusted retailer for high performance gaming PCs. Hey guys, I know you all expected an Oculus video from me at E3 2014, but what I didn't expect and what I don't think you expected was an interview with Palmer. Luckily I was able to catch him for an interview and I hope you guys check that out. Alright guys, we're here at the Oculus booth with Palmer, which is fantastic. Thank you for taking time in your day to have this interview. And I wanted to ask you a question. We, we see certain games all the time going, oh, 30 FPS is fine. We're on the Xbox, 30 FPS is fine. And then we see on the VR side, Oculus and everybody else is thumping in the complete opposite direction. So what are your thoughts on refresh rate monitors and high FPS games. For virtual reality, you need much higher frame rate than you need on a typical screen. 60 FPS definitely is enough. You see huge improvements up to 90 or 120 hertz, and even beyond that, you can see small improvements. Uh, so VR is going to need much higher frame rates than consoles. Although, I, even for consoles or, or, or normal P, traditional PC games, I don't think 30 FPS is is smart. I don't. It's not a good artist, artistic decision. It's a failure. <laughs> that's a, that's an amazing quote. I love that. Now, in terms of virtual reality, where do you see like far in the future? Where do you see refresh rate going? What what's kind of the the limit of improvement? I think that you see diminishing returns between 90 and 120 hertz. So I think that in the in the foreseeable future, VR is going to end up somewhere in that range. Right, okay. Now, in terms of interacting with virtual reality, I know the first thing everyone does when they put a headset on is try to see their fingers. Now, we've, we've seen stuff here like Control VR. What are your thoughts on, on like body tracking, motion tracking, and uh, haptic feedback? I think that there's a lot of interesting R&D being done in public and in private, and that the best solutions are not necessarily yet announced. So there's a lot of stuff in the pipe that's going to be pretty amazing because VR isn't just about what you're seeing. It is about being able to interact with the world in a natural way that's as natural as looking around it with the headset. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And then another thing is I know you guys have been playing around with the Android SDK mm -hmm. for Oculus and there's going to have to be a vast difference in the experience between what happens on Android and PC. What kind of stuff do you expect to come into the Android end? I think you're going to see things like uh, panoramic photo capture, you're going to see virtual movie theaters, and a lot of more simple communication and gaming experiences than you're going to see on PC, where you're going to be able to really crank up the graphics and do some cool stuff like Alien Isolation. That's just not going to happen on a mobile device. So if you ordered a DK2 early on, your order will still be shipping in July. If you ordered your DK2 after the August shipping announcement, your shipping is still on track. And if you buy one now, you should be getting one in August as well. Oculus is still flexing their strength with the Facebook acquisition. They have hired even more people. They recently hired on a co-founder of Naughty dog. Every single time they hire someone, I'm just like, holy crap, you could run your own company and you're being hired by Oculus. Extremely impressive. I'm extremely excited to see what Oculus has to show us in the future. I know Palmer was kind of hinting on a few things, both on the game side and on the interaction side, so I'm extremely excited to see what that is, and I hope we see some of that in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for HyperX for sending us here this year, and also thank you to Coursera and NCIX. Without all you guys, we wouldn't be able to be here, and I hope you guys watch the rest of our E3 content. If you want to see the rest of our E3 content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, and I'll see you guys next time.